Today we're experimenting with a credit card with a magnetic stripe, a magnetic reader, and its software. We also have a half-inch cylinder magnet, our D88 magnet, we're going to use to try and mess up the magnetic stripe. A stripe one of these magnetic cards can be encoded with all sorts of data, text and numbers. Uh, we put a sample message in here to write to it. Your credit card would have the account number and your name and other information like that, but we just put our own message. Write to the card. And the software looks like it wrote OK. To double check it, we'll go ahead and try reading the card. Sure enough, there's our message. It read OK. Now, we want to try messing up the magnetic stripe by rubbing a magnet near it. Here we have a stack of paper. That's 24 sheets of regular office paper, which stacks up to about 90 thousandths of an inch thick. That's a little over two millimeters. What we're going to do is lay this piece of paper over the magnetic stripe to control the distance between the magnetic stripe and the magnet we're using. Here we just go ahead and rub the magnet on top of the paper. And we know that the distance between the magnet and the magnetic stripe has got to be that 90 thousandths of an inch. So here we can go ahead and try reading it see if we messed anything up. And the swipe shows good. The message reads correctly and the software shows the card read OK. This is true for multiple tries reading it. It seems to work every time. So now let's try getting a little closer to the magnetic stripe. This is uh, just 17 pieces of paper. It's about 1 16th of an inch, or 1.6 millimeters. We found this is about as close as we could get with this magnet combination of magnet and paper thickness and have it still work. Here we rub the magnet here again. And we'll go ahead and try reading it. And it still seems to work. And it works consistently reading it several times. Now these magnetic stripes, that's a high coercivity credit card. It's like most of your credit and bank cards you might have in your wallet. It takes about 4,000 gauss to demagnetize it. And this stack of paper is only 13 sheets. It's about 50 thousandths of an inch thick. And with this combination of paper thickness and the half inch cylinder magnet, we actually will exceed the 4,000 gauss limit on that stripe. So rubbing it right here is probably scrambling that data, or at least weakening the signals on it. So when we swipe the card, and that time worked. Got the message and said OK. But that one had a read error. Maybe it read a couple of the digits wrong, and the checksums didn't match, but it shows an error. Sometimes you swipe it, doesn't read anything. And there's another error. Nothing. Nothing. No, oh, right at that time. So the data on the magnetic stripe isn't totally erased, but you might not be able to read it.